Silverstone. We're here at Silverstone Classic as part of Sporting Memories, and I'm with Rob Huff, who is racing here this weekend. But what I want to know is, what are your favourite memories around Silverstone? I think my favourite memories. I mean, I've had, I've got a lot of memories from Silverstone because I used to work here. Um, so I've got good and bad memories. But one of the, one of, I think my favourite one. Uh, is when I won the Jim Russell World Scholarship here. Uh, that was really uh, the first thing that kicked my motorsport career off. Uh, I'd been here, so my birthday's Christmas Day, as you know, and um, mum and dad, uh, for my, I think it was my 19th birthday, bought me the one week Jim Russell race intensive school here at Silverstone. Uh, and it was a week where we learned everything. We did all our race licenses. There was about 30 of us, did our race licenses. We got to drive saloon cars, got to drive single seaters, Catrum, skid pan. You really learned, you know, a, a wide art um, of, of, of skills. And uh, at the end of that course, uh, I was very lucky to be invited back to be entered into the Jim Russell World Scholarship, which was a three day event, knockout competition, 60 young drivers from all over the world in the Jim Russell schools. Um, and it literally was a knockout competition. We drove the Catrums and the bottom 10 dropped out. We drove the Peugeots, the bottom 10 dropped out and it literally went like that for three days. And um, in the end, I was lucky enough to be in the top six and the top six of us uh, went into a race with all, I think there was 30 in total in the race, and um, yeah, I won the race, and uh, off the back of that, won the scholarship, and that put me in uh, Formula Vauxhall Junior for one year, free of charge, and that was really what um, what kicked the whole whole career off. And that was at 19, but that's quite old to yeah. enter into racing land. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it, but that? back then it wasn't. You know, yeah. um, we're only talking six years ago, obviously. Six years ago. <laughs> um, <laughs> But motorsports changed so much, you know, you can now get in a race car when you're 14 years old. Yeah. You could not do that when, when I was, you know, at that age. 17, yeah, as long as you had a, ro a road license, you could drive a race car. Um, but my family weren't in motorsport. We knew nothing about motorsport. Dad was just a huge fan. Um, but we didn't, you know, most racing drivers come from racing yeah. families. Um, I very much didn't. So uh, for us, it was a, a whole new learning experience. And, and, and effectively, that was the... The, the earliest opportunity that, that, that was given to us effectively so when we were outside we were looking at um, there's a display of 1992 entry list into Formula One and on the names are Gabriele Tarquini and yeah. Gianni Morbidelli who both race in the World Throwing Car Championship um, but there are some other names I mean I assume you obviously know Mansell I assume you know no. Hill no I know I know I know Damon I've met Damon a few times um, mainly through Richard Mines who I'm racing with this weekend yeah. because they have the Halo charity together and have you mixed um, and race with any of, uh, any of the other old school no, F1 drivers? Um, probably. I mean, I, I was on radio the other day and they asked me then what F1 drivers have I raced against? Mm -hmm. And I named all of them other than my current teammate, Thiago Montero. So yeah. I, I, I might have got a bit of jip on text message over the fact that I completely forgot yeah. that my current teammate, uh, Thiago, was in Formula <laughs> 1. Um, so I'm useless with stuff like that. Yeah. I'm useless. But, you know, but for me, it's all about the touring cars and, and Silverstone Classic, you know, the historic events you know you're racing Tim Harvey John Cleland Patrick Watts yeah. Steve Soper all of these guys that's are coming great. back out and, uh, and for me that's the special thing you know I, I love motorsport all motorsport I'm not a huge fan of Formula One never have been but for me you know the touring car to, to, to go down the back straight here and you've got Steve Soper on the left Tim Harvey hopefully behind you with Tim and uh, <laughs> You know, and Cleland in in front of you. Best place for Cleland to be is in front. Then he can't hit anyone. Um, you know, that's 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 special. You know, you don't get that. And and for me, that is what you know that makes my weekends of, of the historic stuff. Rob Huff is one of the many names that will be popping into sporting memories over this weekend at Silverstone Classic. So do pop in and see us, and hopefully you'll see somebody as well.